last of the day. Gonna work this buzz bait. Try to get a morning bite just a little bit after eight o'clock. So these fish should be just getting ready for that morning bite. But uh, yeah, trying a different pond today. This is one of the better ponds. Let's see if we can pick up some big topwater bites this morning. Nothing at all with the buzz bait. So now, definitely going to start whacking them on the tube so black and blue tube the whack fest is about to start got one oh, got off dude my hook didn't even penetrate the plastic so that means he'll bite again. That's a bummer. Let's get right back in there. Bitty one up. Finally got a fish. Only thing I did from the ouch from the first bite was I let the fish run with it a lot longer. But uh, that teeth has some that fish has some teeth but I almost hooked myself but uh, the only thing I did different on that is I let that fish run with that tube a little bit longer and I gave it a little bit more of a hook set and that's all that was different on that ow these these hooks are sharp but uh, the sun came out a little bit I think that sun helped out sparked up the fish Two casts, two fish. I'll take it. Take that any day of the week. This one is barely a keeper, but I'll take it. I'll take it. My tube is almost destroyed, though. That's the only thing about these tubes. They do not last long. At all. Especially if you... I think it's just because... I'm rigging them up to be weedless. And I think that's why the way I'm using them, they are lasting too long. But uh, let's see if we can get one more cast with this tube. Got another one. This dude swallowed this one. Dang it. Dang it. Dang it. This fish swallowed this too. I have to get my pliers to get this thing out. There we go. Let's see. There we go. Because I did not want to leave that hook in that fish's mouth. 
A for one, this is a big tube. And has that very bad spot. So if I left that in, it could have killed the fish. Definitely or did some damage. But uh, now it's time to change tubes. Because my tube is destroyed. So the perfect tip for rigging a tube, we just like I like to use, is I spit in the middle of it, put the hook in, just a little bit over halfway, come up, then you have it right here, then you just slightly pull, and when you're pulling in, this one's quite tight inside, but you want to pull in like twist. And there you go. This is this one was quite bad to be honest. I didn't go up far enough and when I put my hook up. But she will do. And then she is done. Took a bit longer than usual, but my hands are kinda worn out for fighting that fish, holding it for that long of a time of period. But uh that's how you rig it. Go ahead and take my bag with me. I gotta do an unboxing of this to show you guys because that's by far my favorite bag to ever, ever carry. There seems to be nothing over here after I caught that one fish. Go out and try out this way. I caught some pretty big fish on this side. So I don't want to like skimp out on it. Because you never know. A little bitty squeaker. Dude, these fish are just hungry. Come on out, hook. There we go. Smallest by smallest fish by far today. And there he goes. So there's definitely fish still on this side of the bank, just chilling. That is good to know. Got one. Got another bass. Let's go. I'll take that any day of the week. That one felt different. I thought it was kind of stuck. Lift up a little bit more. And I just felt that our small line swung off a little bit and I just set the hook. Boom, it was there. That one snuck up on me. It's still in that same spot over there. Just a little bit deeper. Just popped out, hooked just like that. Got another fish. But that little dude snuck up on me at the last second. I barely felt him bite. He just took off, swam right at me. I almost didn't really feel him.
I don't know if I had a fish or not. Get him over those weeds. Oh, these fish are getting chunky over here. These fish are getting chunky for sure. Looks like I, someone caught this fish or maybe I caught this fish already. Nice, decent sized fish. Let that guy go. Here we go. Get over those weeds. Yes, this is a nice one. This guy kind of choked it too. This guy choked it. Yep, this guy is bleeding. Where is this hook at? There we go. This fish is bleeding. He's slowly swimming off. They're getting nice and just the right size. So I'm about to show you guys again me rigging up a tube. So you want to get it upside down. Just put some spit in the middle. Don't be afraid to get some salt in the lips because you will taste these tubes are super, they're, ugh, they're super salty to the taste. Go in halfway, pull the tube through and rotate and then push it through. Make sure our hook is in the middle. Then that's the tube right there. And then you just poke the eyelids out But you just feel for it and just press down on it. And then there you go. That's how you rig a tube weedless. Now to finish the tube off, just tie a simple polymer knot. And then you will be all set. I just like to tie a polymer knot. Um, just because it's a lot stronger. Because when you have a tube, you want, usually you yank on the hook set just to get the hook to penetrate through the plastic and then if you were to just tie like a just like a simple overhand knot I believe that's what I call it or that's the name for it the knot can s slip or break a lot easier than a polymer knot so I like to use a polymer knot if you're not used to it it can take a little bit longer a little bit longer to tie up but trust me, in the long run, 
you want that strong knot because you're going to get a big bass to tug on your line. And with the bass tugging and you setting the hook, you definitely want to make sure you have a good secure knot. And there's other knots, but the Palmer knot is super simple. Once you master it, it's super quick to tie and then it'll save you from breaking off on a lot of your baits in general. So I like to stick to the Palmer knot. If you're not used to it, it will take a little bit longer, but down the road, it will save you the headache of losing a lot of fish. Come on, man, there has to be fish over here. I've caught fish over here plenty of times. Just by sitting over here in these grass or these dead weeds or whatever you guys want to call them. No, there's a fish right there. I just missed it. You got to be joking me. You got to be joking me. Wow, that's how I lose the fish. That was so random. I didn't even get a good hook set because I was like, I'm just reeling slow. All of a sudden felt some pressure and it was super weird. Well, if there's a fish over here. Dude, that makes me kind of mad, man. Fish outplayed me. I was going to pick it up to make another cast and boom, that's when it hits and I wasn't even ready for that fish at all. I got a little baby hook set in it, like halfway. The hook somewhat got penetrated through the hook plastic, but just barely. No. Something knocked my line. Sid Lee got it all tangled up. That had been like a little bitty bluegill or something because that. So I think that is going to be it for today's video. As you saw, I caught a pretty decent amount of fish. It's just the weather has changed dramatically. Now it's super windy. Um, the water is super choppy now. Sometimes. But uh, yeah, I caught maybe 15 plus fish. Um, just barely out of pushing three pounds but today I just was throwing the two uh, black and blue well basically a black tube with blue flake but uh, that pretty much did all the justice today for fish catches they seem to love that um, I was tempted to try maybe throwing a, um, a green pumpkin tube but I just stuck to black and blue because they were biting at the time. I was going to go to this tube, but I was like, heck with it. They're biting the black and blue tube. So other than that, if you guys enjoy this video, don't forget to give a thumbs up. And, uh, leave it a like down, leave a like down below. Um, just throw a comment down below. Do you guys throw tubes? I know tubes are very famous for small mouth, but you don't, don't, don't forget that tubes are absolutely key for catching large mouth, especially in ponds. I found out recently that they love the tube. But if you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to remember to hit the subscribe button if you haven't subscribed already. And I'll catch you guys on the next video. Be sure to keep tight lines. Go for those big sauce daddies.